One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish gallons. Maybe a half a gallon in here. Rebecca, I'd yeah. say you have a strong nine gallons. Oh, good. Counting what's in the fridge. Awesome. What time you want me to milk? 8.30? Yeah, that's fine. 8.30. Are you gonna get the turkey feed? Yeah, sir. Sure. Thank you, buddy. And Jonah's getting the sea monster feed. We need to find one more bucket. Is that a water, is that a feed bucket or a water bucket down there at the plunge? That's a water, we need a feed bucket. You found one? Okay, good. Feed check. Turkey feed. Eggshells. What's that? Oh, sea monster feed. There's another bucket out there. Water for the use. Pig feed. All right, everybody in. Everybody into the seats. All right, this is the lane. We let them hit yesterday. They mowed this so good. They utilized this so good. Now we can come in behind the mow and get the stuff they didn't like. And it encourages, you know, stuff like this that they didn't eat is gonna grow back slower than, than grass or clover. And we chop it up into fine bits with our mulch blades. And it's just, it's as, as Dennis from Full Circle Farmer called, it's like fertilizing. It's like a very inexpensive on-site fertilizer. One of the pigs have, have a tick. Really? Yeah. All right, well, let's get it today. Okay. You're starting to pick it up, I'll uh, move them. Jonah, look. They destroyed the cow pie. Oh. Yep, I, I just... And another one. It's... They didn't touch that one really. Oh, they, they stirred that one. They're doing it. They're doing it. We got to get more chickens in here, guys. We got to get more chickens in here. I got some ideas for that. Look. Boom. Boom. It's that time. It's June. It seemed like it was June last year. The flies started getting really active and the chickens started really tearing up there patties. Our work is worth it. Put, putting these guys behind the sheep. The sheep are behind the cows. We don't have to set up an no, extra net because we just use the sheep net. It's just dirt. Is it? Yeah. Look at that. And instead of just being in one area more fertile, they've spread it out and it's going to be more fertilized. One idea I have just added, we can do today, tonight rather. These guys have been proven to stay in the shelter. Let's put some more fat hands in here. That's that's okay, don't feed them all though. Don't feed them all, we got more flocks. Look, I didn't feed them all. Okay. So, whether it be flies are actually coming into season, or we're because we're feeding them less and they're working a little harder for their food, Something's working and they're starting to stir that manure. You excited? Yeah. You excited as me? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Right, let's get these sheep water. This is one thing, just that uh, hauling water is used twice a day now that it's warm. I think water lines need to be higher on our priority projects. Here you guys go, the breakfast posse. Also, I'm trying to count eggshells. Look how hungry they are for these guys. So, do we, hey, some of these white ones, they're more calm, that one, that could go to the, um, the pasture posse. The rooster has already proven himself to get out, huh? There's one, there's a fat hen, there's a fat hen, there's a couple fat hens. We could stand to have a dozen more fat hens over there. So let's get them tonight. That Delaware back there eating right now, I think they have a real calm spirit. Yeah. So my idea is, we're not making a lot of compost right now. Let's get the Chickshaw 2.0 somehow to where we could pull it behind Sally. And then we could get all these chickens behind the cows. What do you see, Mr. Brown? Are potatoes coming All in? Those two yeah, look. This, one, this potato plant's getting huge. Interesting how these this row did better than that row. Quite a bit better. Interesting. 
Jonah, we got to use our thinking caps. We got to put on our thinking caps. How do we hook this chick shawl to the Sally? I mean, sometimes, but also keep it where, like, if we were down here, we could move it by hand. But if we were way up on the 30 degree north slope, we'd not want to pull it behind 30. Yeah, it's got a 30 degree slope, which is steep. We'd want to pull it with Sally. All right, Lily's posse. We got any fat hens in here? We're babysitting grandmas. So, we're gonna have to figure out which one's grandmas and which ones aren't, but some of these white ones, maybe that brown one down there, maybe that brown one, all would be good as fat hens out in the pasture. Because they're on deep bedding near the garden, and we're feeding them from the garden, and, the, and we're using them to make compost to feed the garden. Hey, Papa, can I move the turkeys? You know what? Your mom and I were just talking about that yesterday. I don't think it would hurt, but you are gonna have to get another net. Because mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be like the sea monsters. I don't know what they would do if we move that net. I think they might go everywhere. Where do I take them to, though? Where, where, where do I move them? Uh, let's go over. Okay, that's where I was thinking. And Lily, I read in Joel Salatin's book last night, Pastured Poultry Prophets, turkeys are real people friendly. They are? Yeah, they like people. And it should be fun for a lot of kids. So actually, Lily and Gideon, you guys want to go pet the turkeys? Let's just see. Let's see if they come up to us. Joel also said turkeys could get 50% of their food off the land. So yeah, let's, let's keep them moving. This is worn out. Let's keep them moving and let's keep them eating that fresh grass. Can you see if you can get among them? See if they would let you pet them? I think the ones with the dark heads are boys. Let's sit among them. Let's get that <laughs> Better than chickens. They're not like dogs. They're not quite as tame as dogs. Oh look, that one's getting a slug. Oh yes, yes! I just saw that that picked a slug off the other side of the net. You put that other pig net up. This has worked out wonderfully. A pig net is keeping in the turkeys. <laughs> so easy to move and set up. Now, why is this? They, they are sticking their head through and doesn't seem like they're getting shocked. I turned it off. Oh, okay. Well, that's why. That explains it. This is going to be interesting to see how they move. Jenny, you want to set that up and I'll go do the sea monsters? We might move and then we'll move them together. Well, that was fast, Jonah. How do you want to do it? Well, let's just get their stuff over and see if they just don't follow. See if they don't just mosey on over. All right, you want me to carry you, princess? Yeah. All right, heads up. I don't want to run over anybody. Look, they're all getting together. They're a lot easier to herd than chickens, too. Look at that. <laughs> Jonah, you go wide. Lily, you go in the middle. And I'll go right here. Look at that. Oh my word. Oh my word. That's crazy. Turkeys are so easy. And look, look at them going at the clover. I'd rather eat a 50% uh, clover grass fed turkey than grain, wouldn't you guys? Yes. Get the grain because they didn't eat it. What do you think? We should still do the chicken tractor? You think they're big enough? Yeah. I don't know. Look at that little tiny one. I think they're good. Let's do it maybe another week. Would that be okay? Just to be extra safe. A week too. Just watch. I can't get over this. Look how they're into this, man. This Crazy. If they will, if they will. All right. He's talking me into it. He's just, just want to see what happens. Now, now, we're not being lazy, right? No, if they don't work, we'll bring that in there. Well, if it doesn't work, somebody's going to be dead. Oh. Hello. That's what it's about. Just aerial protection at night. We got this, oh. I know, but will they get up in there? I think the little ones will get up on the small part. All right. Okay. 
So really, all these guys need, this is a P Premier One uh, pig fence. It's actually the, I don't know, it's for, it's for raising piglets because it's got a fine Papa. mesh. Yes. I'm walking. <laughs> okay. It's got a fine mesh. It's helping to keep these little birds in. Learned this trick from Jordan Green at Farm Builder. And we got, what, a, a Premier One King feeder. Keeps the feed dry if it rains and out on pasture and just pasture. Moving it when it's getting worn out and my turkey shawl. Built, inspired by Joel Salatin's Gobbly Go, but this is something for 24 birds instead of hundreds of birds. And it's something you can move easily move by hand. Our hope is they'll seek shelter under this at night. Turkeys don't need walls, they don't need full roof. This is a this is really just a shade cloth. So that's really all they need. I do want to make sure they get under that and they don't just lay down in the pasture somewhere because then they're going to be vulnerable to owls. The goose there is helping with daytime predators, land and aerial like hawks. Look at these guys getting so fat and happy. So fat and happy but still spry. I love this system. Keeps these monsters moving and in good health. Amazing health. Amazing health. You feel better now? Getting needed to go on a little potty break there. Now I said, do you know where your shovel is? We could use it to get this grit. And now we're on a, hope this is not a wild goose hunt. Hopefully, oh, you know exactly where it is. Good boy. Hey, what are you building up here? Clay pots. Clay pots. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Oh, that grit. Grit. Right there, a pile of creek sand. Hey, let's get it right here. Right here, bro. There's some right here. Why well, pass this pile up? You want me to do it or you want to do it? This is perfect. I think it's Because it's free. And, oh, you're going to do it? You want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you do it. And, uh, loaded with minerals from having been in the creek. I'm thinking we're getting too big of a rocks and I think it'll actually go faster than me picking them out with my hand. Let's get the compost sifter. Well, I started out with lots of time and now I'm short on it. I gotta be milking in 10 minutes to keep up with them and their cream sifter. This'll do the trick. So, we have this feed pan here. Here, let's do this. All right, dump out our bucket in there. You want help? I okay. need, I'll dump it out. Okay, you dump it out. Dump it out on this. There you go. Perfect, how'd you know what to do? So this will take half inch rocks, which is fine for a turkey. The chickens will just pick through it. All right, good, now. Just push this right here. Look how quick this is gonna be, Mr. That Brown. Is good. Yep, shovel full, shovel full, buddy. Good man, good man. Keep going. I thought that was gooder. Yeah, it does. You keep shoveling it in. All right, Mr. Brown. Hey, thank you for holding that bucket for me. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Now. It's great. Put it back. Let's put your shovel in the hallway, compost sifter back, and that way we'll always know where it is, okay? After, after I dig, I'm going to put that right back. That's so good. Right back. That's good. So we know where it is always when we get that. Perfect. I got that over the fence. Okay, so in case you're wondering why I'm feeding rocks to turkeys and chickens. Oh. Oh, there you go. I call this. You, you can help. Rooster teeth, because chickens don't have teeth. Let's just fill it up, okay? Rah! Look, they're going at it almost like feed, guys. It's like I put feed out there for them. They might get some off the pasture, and they would survive, but this will help them. The rooster teeth, they get down on what you call a gizzard, and this muscle works these walk rocks around and helps them break down their food. 
Okay, we might not, oh, it's on. Whoa, we turn, it was off. <laughs> Woo, it's hitting hard. We must turn it on instead of off. Gosh, woo, that'll wake you up in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this out. <laughs> Still nervous. Yes, I got it. Papa. Yeah. They drank all that water that Grandma put in there. Yeah, they did. Let's see if these guys needed it badly. You guys need it badly? Look, they're coming at it too. Like it's food. Check it out. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Okay, good. Yeah. Am I on time or behind or ahead? No, just fine. Okay, good. <laughs> this is the coolest egg. I wonder how that comes about. You know, why does that happen? That <laughs> when that it's right? being formed, like this one's cool too. This one's got polka dots. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Work of art. So what's what's the game plan with only 10 gallons of milk as opposed to 20? <laughs> no different. No um, different. We're not going to okay. be as busy, we still... so we can sit around and drink coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds like a fun plan. But, uh, wait, but are we still going to get ice cream? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, so we'll have, have that one. Look we'll have this. two. We'll have half a gallon of cream. Yeah. Okay. But this. what about butter? Oh my word! That must be Phyllis, though. It is. And from that, another one of from the very last the time we had her. one that was almost as big. Yeah. Look but the these. good news is we're going to wean hamburger at the end of the month. Yeah. So we'll be getting more. There milk. will be no butter, but I have lots of butter. Look. Oh, well, there's none in that lots, one. <laughs> lots and lots of butter. Right here. In this empty container Sorry, in our freezer. Right there. Look. It's okay. Right there. All right. I have so that no butter, butter. But then I also have so much butter from. Okay. So, Way back. But in the summer, when it's so hot and I'm sweating before 9 o'clock, we gotta have ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we're prioritizing ice cream. Oh, okay, so this is Flossie's. What? That's Flossie's? That was Flossie's. Look at this. Are you what? sure? That's Must what it be said. The grass. There's it the cream. Flossies. Oh, yeah, we're in the lower pastures right now. They love it. And we're about to go to the white clover pasture right out there yep. this afternoon. Let's get ready. Mucho mas cream next week. Uh, I open this up to check the chicks. And there's one out. Shoot. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Come here, little guy. Gal. Come here, little fat chick. There you go. Stay in there. This door was open. They got feed, water. Hear a lot of chirping up oh, because you're out of water. Hey, you think they were thirsty? I think they were thirsty. I got you your milk up. Am I on time? Doing good still? Perfect. Yep. And y'all are just cranking up the machine, getting yep. the skim going down, and the cream going over there. I always like cream separating day because it means ice cream. You like it, Grandma? Oh, yeah. What kind of ice cream are you gonna make today? I, I forgot to uh, order chocolate chips. You didn't order the chocolate chips. I guess we're not having mint chocolate chip. We'll have mint with chocolate syrup. Are you sitting right on the air conditioned vent? Is that why it's not cooling off in here? <laughs> I see chocolate ice cream in my 
near future, yes. we decided to go with chocolate ice cream with and chocolate syrup. Mmm. I've done That's gotten really heaven. Good. Homegrown, homemade ice cream. Oh boy. Okay. Tell me, this is what it's all about. It's what keeps me going. Keeps me milking those seven teeth every day. Well, One now you're only four. four. <laughs> so I get a little break. That helps too. You know, the ebb and flow helps, but yeah. also the, the rewards. And this quiche, this glorious quiche with our greens, our eggs, our, uh, well, it's not our potatoes yet, but soon to be. Well, it's not potato crust, almond flour crust. No, I know, but there's potatoes in it, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, this afternoon. Tea dog, you ready to go? Hey, what do you want to do? You want to work hard on our chores and maybe go swimming again? It's Friday. Have a little fun. Have a little fun. Jonah's moving the cows to one of our best pastures. Let's see. Let's see how they like this. It is like full of white clover thanks to years of running chickens on this pasture. Look. Oh my gosh. Ice cream grass. Ice cream grass. Look at the bees. Attracted to this clover. Such a wonderful situation. I mean, look at this clover. Holy smokes. Hey, are you testing our grays? Perfect. Oh, look at that. So one, two, three and a half leaves. That's just perfect. And there's some dead stuff at the end. Mm, that's perfect. One dead leaf. That's just prime, primo. Okay, Moose is left in here with nobody. We gotta get the sheep. That's not Moose, that's hamburger. We gotta get everybody else over here and he'll start feeling better. He's so antsy. Jenny, you're gonna have to stay here. Mm -hmm. When you see me coming, you're gonna have to start opening those, those fences. Mm -hmm. Lily, let you and I go get the sheep. Um, Lily, you tie Teddy up. Wait. Josiah, you're gonna lead, okay? You're gonna call sheep, sheep, sheep. Yeah. We've got a temporary fence yeah. over. We got a long way to go. We gotta come out of the pasture here. Down through the field and over behind our house. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. That's pretty amazing. Sheep, 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 sheep. No sheep, treats. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. That's amazing, Josiah. Sheep, 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 sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Look at that. Look at that. No treats, just calling them. Your treat is new grass. Woo! Nice. Come on, Mr. Moose. Hamburger's looking for you. Hey, do you have your alligator clips? So here we are celebrating Friday because all our days kind of look the same. So got to, got to mix it up, even though we were just here a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's still hot. Let's celebrate. Like, woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, look. He's going for Lily. He ain't gone for anybody but you, has he? No, he only, well, he came for all of us that one time. Yeah! Supper, chicken off the land, chicken fried steak, and so excited about this, broccoli. Look at all that broccoli. Broth, and very soon, ice cream. Hey, chicken fried steak is really beef. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Did I say chicken fried steak? Yeah, you said chicken fried steak, chicken off the land. <laughs> oh, okay, that's funny. It's probably beef off Okay, the whoops. Land. Why is it not called beef fried steak? I guess because it's... you fry it like chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, how is it? Good. It's a good way to kick off the Friday nights. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chocolate on chocolate. Mm -hmm. Walnuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, 